just got ready um, and I'm finishing up packing. It is the day we leave for Colorado Springs for Four Continents and I'm really excited. We didn't skate today. It's a travel day. Otherwise we would have skated seven days in a row, which is a lot. Yeah, it was nice to just sleep in this morning and take my time getting ready. Our flight is at 2.30. Uh, there's a couple things that I need to do before I'm ready to leave. Yeah, I'm pretty much ready. That's always a challenge. I'm just about ready to leave. This is the part I hate the most because I feel like I'm definitely getting something, but I'm just checking my list. Jason just texted me that he's leaving, so I'm gonna go downstairs now. Yay, it's time to go. Do like a quick spread of this. I'm telling you that there ain't no other way. Pack your bags and let you go away. I'm Gonna be begging you to stay. Mm -hmm. So maybe if you ask me yesterday, I would handle this <laughs> differently. Things are different, I'm a new me. That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. That's not, that's not gonna happen. So even if you're asking, even, even if you ask. He's getting ready. Like this? Guys, so we're in the middle of the airport right now. We're in the lounge. We're taking some soup, some cookies, and uh, after we go to plane. And uh, when will we arrive, Holly? When do we when, arrive? When will we arrive, Holly? At like 8 p.m. At 8 p.m. At 8 p.m. And then after we go to Dodo. No. That's go away. Sounds good. Keep working hard. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, we made it finally. It's around 10 15 p.m. and I just unpacked everything. We ran to Target really quick to grab some stuff, but they didn't really have much options, so we'll do groceries tomorrow. But I got some water, that's about it. I'm just gonna get ready for bed and go to bed. Luckily, we have a late start tomorrow, so it's not gonna be like rushed in the morning. Good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good morning, it is Wednesday the 8th of Feb. Last night I just laid out all my makeup so that I can see it clearly. And in about like 30 minutes or so, no 15 minutes, I'm going to start my makeup. I was going to curl my hair, but it stayed pretty curled from yesterday when I washed it um, yesterday morning. So I think I'm going to leave it. Our first practice is at 12.30 and... We are gonna do rhythm dance first, so I'm gonna do my rhythm dance hair and makeup and then our second practice is around 520 so um, In the time in between I'll switch my makeup and hair. I'll, no, I'll leave my hair the same I'll switch my makeup a little bit for the free dance because we'll do the free dance on the second practice And first practice is in the main rink, so I'm really excited. I actually used to train at this rink this arena, so it's it's exciting to go back and I really loved it so and the reason I'm starting my makeup so early is because I like to allow myself a lot of time to like do it properly and not make any mistakes and just like not stress and rush it and uh, we're taking a 1030 bus so starting at like 830 makes sense to me. I do what I do and it's time for something new It's not a 
could stay Gotta, gotta go our own way Cause I do what I do And it's time Okay, so my makeup is mostly done I just have to do lashes and lips I have an hour until I leave Whoopsie. Oh, I forgot to mention last night my um the wheel of my suitcase, my carry-on broke. <laughs> I was like lugging around my suitcase around the airport. It's not fun. But luckily, thank God, my um, coach who's from Colorado that I used to have for singles when I lived here, he is lending me one of his suitcases. Saving the day. <laughs> The first practice it went really well i didn't really vlog so much when i was there i was just kind of getting my bearings at the arena and kind of stay focused but i will probably film a little bit maybe after our second practice tonight second practice is on the practice rink not the main rink the first practice was on the main rink and it was really nice i'm just gonna have a rest and um touch up my makeup to make it like for the free dance. I'm just trying to think how I'm gonna do this because I don't really want to redo my whole face. If I start now, I guess I can. <laughs> I don't really want to. It's just like if I take off my eye makeup, then I need to take off my face. You know what? I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. I did it. I touched up my makeup. I did my free dance makeup. Love it. Hi, I just got back to my room and I ordered dinner tonight because I wanted a nice, healthy, gluten free meal. I just got a piece of salmon salad and sweet potato mash. Our practice went really well. Um, we did free dance. Sorry, I didn't film so much. I'm gonna try to film more tomorrow, but. Priority is to stay focused and not be thinking too much about filming. Hi, I'm just doing my compression pants right now. Um, Jason and I went to the grocery store and got what we needed. I'm just going to do my recovery stuff and try to get to bed early because I'm so tired. I feel jet lagged even though it's only a two hour difference. Um, it's currently 8.34 p.m. but Montreal's two hours ahead so I guess normally I would be like going to bed. So I'm pretty tired. It was a good first day. I'm excited for tomorrow. We don't have a practice until like late in the afternoon. So it should be a nice chill morning. I'm just journaling right now and doing my compression pants. I'm also watching Love Island, of course. And if you're wondering what this is, I bought apple juice because I really just felt like it. I bought a whole thing of apple juice. The fridge we have is huge though. I also got this. It's called Chloroxygen. I used to take this when I lived in Colorado. I lived here for seven years, like training when I used to do single skating. And I always used to have this, it like, it's like a natural supplement, I guess. It's a herbal supplement. It's chlorophyll co concentrate, so that, that's all it is. Um, but it's saying that it helps build red blood cells for like oxygen and helps like acclimate to altitude and I don't know. I used to have this, so then I was like, oh, I should I should have that now. It's not scientifically proven or anything at all like that. But you know. Anyway, I add it to the apple juice. Um, and I always used to do this when I was younger, training here, so kind of a little bit um, nostalgic, to be honest. Morning. I haven't really.
really booked much this morning. It's around 10.30 a.m. I just ordered a coffee and a smoothie. I'm gonna do some like core activation and stretching to keep my body moving since that practice isn't for a while. And then I'm gonna curl my hair a bit more because it's kind of come out a bit. So yeah, just hanging out with my friend Bella who lives in Florida. So we're really excited to see each other. It's really nice to see her. I got a green smoothie and a coffee. Thank God. Finally home. I just I'm also just gonna take my vitamins. This is how I travel with my vitamins. I pack them in this little I just got it off Amazon. Like I have omega-3, I have oil of oregano, vitamin vitamin B, and then this is like a, a natural supplement that's like filled with different like herbs, I think. And it like helps you not get sick. So I'm gonna take those now. two full hours for makeup and hair just so I'm like not rushing and I kind of enjoy this time it's like therapeutic for me but I just wanted to say something that I do like the week of competition I'm not really on Instagram because I find like it's a little bit overwhelming and social media is like a lot and sometimes when you're competing at bigger co events like you get tagged and stuff and I just I don't like to go on it so I've actually like given my Instagram to my friend and she like has been reposting stuff and so like they just sent me like a nice photo that she just reposted for me so if you're ever wondering at competition um maybe if i'm not responding or for tagging me and stuff i will see it but i'm not on it right now and i literally can't wait until after the event and i can go on it and see all the pictures and tags and everything so Thank you, Chloe, for managing my Instagram. You're the best. And yeah, next time, say hi to Chloe. <laughs> As I'm doing my makeup, I'm just thinking about how there's only two more competitions left of this season with like this makeup look, these costumes and everything. And it's, oh, it's so sad. It feels like it went by so fast and I'm like gonna miss these programs and costumes so much especially my rhythm dance dress like <sighs> i really loved it but it got me thinking about new music new costumes new makeup for next season is about to begin and last season i didn't like really film any of that so i'm actually excited to film more of that process and show the behind the scenes of how I brainstorm like ideas and create kind of like a vision board for each program. Training days I practice different makeup looks to figure out like what I want and then eventually once I figured it out I film some notes for myself so I remember like the steps that I did to make that look. I'm excited to start that process again. It feels like just yesterday I was doing this. It's crazy how quickly this season went by. Move you right. My word is bond, we don't spit no lies A daughter of the sunshine But every blue Okay, I'm pretty much ready I've done my hair, my makeup And I'm just gonna get dressed Ready to leave in about 30 minutes Very happy with the way my makeup turned out Okay, ready to go. Nothing, nothing. We don't talk about nothing no more. Nothing, nothing. We don't talk about nothing. We don't 
just got back. Um, we had a really, really good practice. So I'm really happy. Um, uh, the draw came out. We're in the second group and we skate third. So it's a really good spot. It's probably like one of my favorite spots to skate. Second or third. I'm excited. I'm just gonna stretch right now and wash my hair because I'm gonna recurl it tonight so it's fresh. Some of the pieces are like gone straight and take all of this makeup off i was really happy with my makeup today but i feel like the eyeliner that i use here is like drying out like the the liner so i'm hoping there's enough in it this always happens they all dry out and i need it to be super precise for the inner corner so i'm hoping it lasts for tomorrow <laughs> i forgot to show my dinner but I started eating it. It's just the same as last night, but chicken instead of salmon. And it's pretty good. The chicken's a little dry, but the sweet potato mash is so good. Oh, Ruby. <laughs> Hi, I just curled my hair and I'm going to bed right now. I have to wake up at 4 a.m. So I will probably talk to you after my practice. And if I don't really get a chance to vlog tomorrow, it's because I'll be focused. Good morning, 5.30 a.m. Full glam is done. Successfully did it in time. Oh my god, it's so cold. Our official practice uh, is at 7.10 a.m. <sighs> so the earliest bus is at 6, so I'm starting my warm-up in my room. There won't be that much time when I get to the rink. I'm just having this mush overnight oats. We don't talk about nothing no more. Feels like I've been doing way too much, babe. Feels like I, feels like I've been walking through this stuff, babe. Over time, lately it's been getting cut. Hi, I'm just redoing my face makeup, like from not my forehead because my hair's like glued onto it. When I got back, I took off my face makeup and I've just been resting for a while. We had a good practice this morning. It went well and I'm excited. So there's still quite a lot of time until we go, but I like to have this done pretty early. Okay, makeup is all done and I'm ready to go. It's time. bittersweet right now the skate itself felt great performance wise it was really fun and <sighs> that was just like a big mistake I um, fell on my first twizzle like towards the end of it and it was like a big shock I got up and I did the second and third twizzle really well but because I've fallen like it wipes out the whole element so we basically lost about 10 points <sighs> so obviously it wasn't like a score that we were hoping for and an outcome but there was a lot of good things that came from the skate and um it did feel like one of our best skates if you take that away so it's pretty frustrating and um when you think about like where you could have ended up like placing and the score you could have gotten like it's always going to be you know i could have done this could have done that but um yeah it's unfortunate but all i can do is focus on the free dance and go and do my best and fight just gonna stay positive and focus on like the good things that came from that skate and um focus on improving in the next one it was really fun though and the crowd was amazing like anytime i skated near them they just started cheering and at the end they were clapping and so i felt really supported on the ice which was nice, but yeah. <sighs>
Oh my god, it's so frustrating. <laughs> I'm pretty hard on myself when I make mistakes like this, so it's like hard for me to just let it go and well no I can I can let it go and move on and do a good free but you know I'm gonna be thinking about it tonight and all this afternoon and you know just it's hard to just put it out of your head it's something that it's something upsetting so I'm just gonna do my best to let it go and just focus on enjoying the free dance I love that program and all I can do is my best. <laughs> this morning and it went really really well it felt good to just go out and uh skate our best and just do our job now i have all day and i think i might go get coffee with jason and like some other people and then go to whole foods but first i'm gonna take off all this makeup imagine having this full glam at 9 a.m. 8 a.m. in the morning at like some local coffee shop. No, thank you. <laughs> Just imagine looking like this at 5 a.m. No thanks. Anyways, the things that ice dancers have to do. I'm just gonna take this off. I do go on dreaming. dinner having the same thing again because it's really good i showered and washed my hair and i'm gonna curl it later um today was nice just pretty chill we went to loyal coffee and the food was really really good and so was the coffee and we just walked around the area a little went to like a thrift store and i just came back and like rested and prepped for tomorrow but, but yeah i'm gonna get a really early night because the last three days i've had to wake up at like 4 4 30 so, looking forward to tomorrow being the last day of that. Hi, I haven't updated it all really today. We had a great practice this morning. Um, I came back, we did my face makeup, added stones on my under my eyes, and had some something to eat. Just rested specialized and now I'm just gonna get dressed again and leave in about 20 minutes so yeah I'm excited my goal for today is just really to I have technical goals as well but like whenever a big competition's over I'm always like relieved yes but I miss it like instantly so today I just want to enjoy every minute of it and have fun because this is what I love to do and I, I need to enjoy it like it's fun so <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do today and just just perform so I probably won't speak again until after I'm, I might not film anything before so <sighs>
got my makeup. I have to go back because we're in the gala. And I got my makeup so that I could change it before the banquet, which is right after the gala. <laughs> Canada because I'm Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> 